stretch run into the NCAA tournament, when one of the best conferences in the country still has yet to figure itself out. With more, we welcome in Matt Norlander, CBS Sports college basketball writer. Matt, the conference we're talking about is the Big Ten. Fill us in. Big Ten's kind of an enigma right now, Nick, because there's a lot going on here that you can feel optimistic about, and I feel like the Big Ten's reputation is a little bit underrated because this conference is a lock to send six teams, seven is possible. If it sends eight, which I don't think that it will, but it could, do you realize that no other conference ever has sent eight teams to the tournament except the Big East? So I think the Big Ten as a whole is better than people realize, but the reason why the league isn't getting enough due is because Maryland's crazy underrated, they haven't beat a ranked team yet. Wisconsin's been good, but I don't think at the elite level people expected. When Michigan State is down, the perception of the league is that it's down. Indiana was projected as a preseason top 15 team. They're obviously nowhere near that right now. And also when Northwestern is making a charge to make its first NCAA tournament in history, Nick, people will look at the Big Ten as weaker than normal. I think that's fairly accurate. But February is going to be the most interesting month for this league compared to any other league in college basketball. I think there's going to be more shifting between all those conferences from the one spot down to the 10 spot. So we don't really know how good the Big Ten is, but I do think that is a unequivocally a top four league in college hoops. For more on the Big Ten and all things college basketball, keep it locked here, CBS Sports.